Whoa, that just got really laggy. I think these chicken farms are messing up with my uh, the old frame rate. Let's get out of here, it's a little bit better. Not as choppy. Welcome back to the server, guys. How we doing? I got this lovely little scooter or motorcycle, I'm guessing. It's kind of like a delivery vehicle. I don't know if there's anything in there. Nope. But... Ben left me a pumpkin pie, the one that I ordered. So I'm going to leave him an iron, and I'll give him two nuggets for a tip. Lovely. Thank you so much. This is going to come in very, very handy. Yep, right there. That was worth every, every little nugget of iron. Oh, that got laggy again. Something wrong with the server today. We're going to have to go get that checked out. If you're listening to this, Patrick, that's your job, bruh. Come on, man. No, I'm just kidding. I'll, uh, I'll message him and, and we'll get it sorted out. But until then, what I'm going to try to do is I want to see what the side quest yeeter has for me today because I noticed the tent is no longer here. The tree farm is complete. I stole some slime to finish it. So here. Ooh. I love me some spruce logs. Very, very nice. All right, I'm going to... Do I get the shulker box too? Or should I leave the shulker box? You know what? I'll go ahead and take it. And uh, Sam, if you want this back, let me know. You can have it. It'll, uh, it'll just be chilling in my old storehouse. But nice. I I love 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 getting lots of logs because well, yeah, it's a pain in the butt to get. But the tree farm is up, so we're gonna have to go check that out. Uh let me see if I can get a hold of Sam and he's gonna show us how it'll work. Something Patrick suggested to me. He said he keeps his obsidian stored in Ender Chest. And I'm like, well, you know, blaze powder might be difficult for some people. And they'd have to mine the obsidian, but it's like, it's just a steady source of income. That is true. Because they can always get it, but it still takes time. And it's I... something that I need, but I don't want to put in the time. I have a great idea, then. You're going to sell obsidian <laughs> for diamonds. Yeah. I think the old bargain boat's about to sell some obsidian. I think Luke already is, but then Luke hasn't done anything on the server in a while. Yeah. And he's charging like a crazy high price for it. Yeah. It's like one diamond for four or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. But... I'm making a giant thing out of obsidian for evil purposes. I'm here. Yeah, Hold up. four for one diamond or a stack for 16 obsidian. Is that a stack of diamonds for 16 obsidian? <laughs> or no, it would be a stack of obsidian for 16 diamonds. I got it. Okay. Yeah. That's still like... Mm. I like mm, I sure. think I bought some from him before just because you know, you got to promote the local markets. Yes. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the hive mind. The future endeavor of moi featuring all such things necessary as farms, shops, storage, thingamabobs, excellent color palettes. Over <laughs> Let here, <me> you. <laughs> thou shalt buy the goods for extensive, unique prices. We charge in ender chests as it is a required material for moi. And the ender chest is a required material. Yes, very useful. Many things. Yes. You may notice the queen. I, I do like that. Is that the TNT? That is the TNT duper. I needed to cover it because I am fearful of people with 
excited flaming bow shooting like me. Yes. That's a smart idea. I like it. I'm worried that people are going to be way over here like me being dippy and just, uh, yeah, do that. This is a prototype. This right next to us here is a prototype uh, cobble and gravel generator. Hmm. It's lame. I have found a better design that's going to produce three times as much. I'll show you how it works. It just essentially, the TNT is going to keep falling. It's being duped from up there. So I'm just taking advantage of that and just throwing more stuff in that's going to get utilized. Oh, we have a buddy. Oh, yeah. You should have <laughs> TNT duped him. It wouldn't hit him. Ah. It goes right above his head. I actually know the range of the TNT because I just let it create this hole. Ah, very nice. <laughs> yes. So I know the exact range of the TNT duper. My finger hurts. Oh. Your finger hurts. Oh no. Around this side, uh, this section is going to eventually be a automatic storage system. Yes. I'm, right now this is temporary. But if you look in this side... Oh dear goodness. You get an idea of what 15 minutes of log production is. Oh, the only okay. reason I stopped at 15 minutes is because I ran out of bone mail. Uh, I used an entire shulker box of bone blocks. Oh wow. If that gives you an idea, yeah. Gotcha. Of how much this uses, so. So we're gonna need some, some more skelly farms on the server. Yeah, it, all that I've got going right here is the uh, the TNT duper, the tree farm, and two prototype cobble generators. This mm -hmm. one, prototype number one, I did no research. I'm just like, I know how to make a cobble generator, so I made this, and it makes two little poops of cobble. Oh, and it's, so cute. it's decent. It's like it produces so little. It's kind of funny, but also it's kind of cute. Okay, so, rule number one, do not break, do not, do not break the scaffolding. I have not. The scaffolding is important because the scaffolding is a system of sending a signal straight up. Because the scaffolding detects when the scaffolding has changed in height, there is a trapdoor underneath the scaffolding. Ah. So you can sit on that, but also when the trapdoor is activated, the scaffolding says, oh, I've got 24 blocks instead of 23. And it sends a signal up, and then the observer up the top detects that. Now that's kind of okay. nifty. There is a system of overflow. If you notice down below here, you're going to get an inventory full of sticks. Also, if you have a use for sticks, let me know. I have sticks. So, oh, yeah, I got over I on got the side here. There's a barrel. Don't click it, but okay. you click it once. You just enter it and then back out of it, and you wait until you hear the TNT fall. And then you can peek out and see. Don't get too close to the hole. The bee she poops the TNT at varying heights. One goes slightly below. One goes slightly above. Slightly below, slightly above. This is important. Now we're going to activate the cobble generator just for funsies, since we're here. Yes. Cobble generator is not perfect, so don't worry about memorizing it. Get it. Hit the switch on. Hit the switch off. Wow. It just activates a little timer that you actually have to break the redstone to stop later on. Oh, okay. Wow. Well. And it will make like layers of cobble and then layers of stone. And it will, because the TNT will destroy them but not break the item. What happened? I was wondering. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. going. Hmm. Let me restart it. It's finicky. 
This is a bad example. <laughs> okay, oh, that there's one. Yeah. There you go. You just... I left it a little too long. Okay. Um... But yeah, they'll, they'll break it, they'll just drop down into the collection system. Anyway, back inside. So to use it, you stand right here, up against the logs. Yeah. You have the sapling in your hand, you make sure there's enough bone meal in the dispenser, and you just keep your mouse facing at the block of dirt. What is the benefit of this system? Is that it is almost completely self-sufficient. Because of the things moving above my head, it breaks the leaves. It gives oh, yeah. sticks. Sticks are not useful to the design. But you might need sticks. But it gives me the sound. That's the self-sufficient part about it. That's the complicated bit. I like this. Isn't it cool? Are you outside? Can you see it? No, I'm inside right now. So around the back, I've got storage for my bone blocks. Uh, we're running out. We gotta have to make another mob farm close by that produces skeletons. And if there were any deserts close by, that would be great. But there's not, so we'll just have to make a regular mob farm. All right. Well, that'll actually work perfectly into my plans because can you, can you see it from outside? Yes. 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 Isn't it cool? Very and that's cool. kind of it's kind of weird to get through that doorway. Yeah, I happen to go up the. I go up earlier. it all the time, but the <laughs> scaffolding has a second use, and that's because I have to. I had to do a lot of little adjustment maintenance up there. Yeah. When I built it, so it's useful for that. This that's is good. an this is an Bill Mango design with a few minor adjustments. Flint. If I had some way of getting a mass amount of flint then I could have a chicken farm along with this and produce just infinite arrows, which mm. I do not need because I have infinity bow. But it's a use for sticks. You could burn them. Uh, they don't produce a lot, so you would need a lot of pipes transporting them so that you could... Because here's the thing, it doesn't produce a ton of sticks quickly, Yeah. but it, but it produces a ton of sticks. So you could store up a bunch of sticks and then run furnaces. Um, just so long as well, the furnaces could get fed their sticks quick enough. Here's what I'm thinking. What if we were to uh, build off this direction, right? Hold on. Sippy, sippy, my tea. Which direction? Uh, if you look over here. See me? Ah, yeah. All right, so if, if we build a, a little hallway off this direction... A Halloween. Right? And then kind of, uh, you can put some steps downward, maybe, so that you have plenty of storage overhead. And hmm. you just pipe your uh, sticks over into there. And then yeah. we can have a um, public smelter. Public smelter. We could disassemble the super smelters at my base, as I only need two of them to efficiently harvest per per. Mm-hmm. I don't need eight. <laughs> and uh, that was really a big project until we got the iron farm, and then it was really easy to finish. Well, here's so we my could, thought. We could, re we could move it over here, public super smelter. What and if? then we could also tax the people by having it be slightly inefficient and collect some of the things that they put in there. <laughs> <laughs> so well, you see, put it in a stack, and you'd only get like 60 left. That's almost better than my idea. <laughs> I was saying, if you put It'd in a, like a redstone like... door and you have to throw in like some iron or something to get into it, mm. so then every time you want or to an... use our super efficient or an ender chest, extremely fast <laughs> auto smelter. Mm -hmm. But I, I think I like your idea a little bit better. We could be sneaky. Well, here's the thing. I have two super smelter designs. Yes. One is perfect. The other one kind of keeps a few things. <laughs> I love it. Let's use that one. <laughs> and it's easy to make it so that it puts them into a second chest. 
Because it was by accident that I came up with it. Because I'm like, where's all my potatoes going? I had exactly a stack. Why am I not getting exactly a stack back? And they're this all getting kind of stuck idea. in the pipes. And then when the redstone shuts off, they all drain out. Into I had set up some extra chests to catch like the draining stuff because I didn't want to redesign the whole thing. And we're back here at the medieval village. What we're gonna do is try to make some kind of tavern or I guess more like an inn. If I had like a like a tavern underneath and then some sleeping quarters above. And I've been playing around, kind of laying it out, uh, just to see what I want. And I think I've got something that I can work with here. Um, so this will be the, the front entrance. I'm going to have a uh, one on this side and this side kind of thing going on. And then uh, as you walk in, uh, you're going to have your probably your bar over this side and then some seating in these corners over here and then a little bit of seating over here. Um, or perhaps over here we'll have a, a staircase that goes up so that you can go into the sleeping area. So that'll be kind of cool. But what I want to try, um, I've left these sides kind of blank over here because I think I want to put some uh, vendors markets or some like some shops or you know something like that. Um, I saw a picture somebody had taken beds and used them as canopies and I actually like the look of them better than the wool or better than the carpet too. So let me see if I can set this up right. I've got orange, blue, and pink. Uh, so I think I want to put the blue We'll do the blue right here. And um, I'm also using these bone blocks for walls. And I usually just use like white concrete, but I, I like the coloring in the bone blocks a little bit better. Uh, I think with the beds we have to put, is this where I want it? Or do I want it one lower? I think if I do one, yeah, I'll do it a little bit lower. Um, but I, I like the, the coloring in the bone blocks. It's got that nice uh, off-white color. Um, I'm not a big fan of the, the striping effect that you've got going on, but I don't really notice it too much unless I'm really looking at it. So it should be okay. Okie doke. Let's knock these down and our bed should stay up there. Alright, and then I think I'd go with some oak because this is oak under here. So if I put oak posts under here. Alright, very nice. I, I'll tell you what's cool about this. We've got these uh, almost look like tassels or something like that under there. And then it's got a stripe. Let me see if we can get up. Yes, very nice. Obviously you can tell they're beds, but I like them anyway. I thought it was a nifty idea. All right, let's go. Well, I've just run out of bone blocks, so... I think I'm going to have to put a pause on this building for just a second. Probably go buy some more at Patrick's shop, but i got to get some more diamonds flowing first, you know. Going a little low right now. But this is what I've got so far um, under our orange tent here. We have just lots of barrels, nothing in them. Um, but I will probably end up selling stuff out of here uh, in the near future, you know. Be something little, little cool, do a little business on the side. Uh, under here we just have some obsidian, which I thought looked kind of like, I don't know, maybe some grapes or plums or some purple fruit, if there's too many besides that that I can think of. 
which I really can't right now. So I'm going with grapes or plums, something like that. And then over here under the blue canopy, we have uh, what to me looks like could be apples, but really looks more like beets. So, you know, tribute to Shroot Farms, if anyone gets the reference. But the main uh, attraction here is going to be this building. And it's kind of hard to get the the shape of what's going on. See if I can do a quick flyby. Maybe I'll just perch up here so we can kind of see what's going on. Uh, much smaller building than this one, but that's okay. Maybe, maybe I'll make it three stories tall. Uh, you know, this is supposed to be more of a grand area, but I think that'll be fine for now. And then I'll put some taller buildings on either side of it. Or maybe just some buildings higher up just to kind of even out how massive this library building is. Uh, very cool though. I, I I love this building and I'm starting to love how this is turning out. It's going to be pretty fun walking around this little village. Uh, still have to do the interior but that'll probably be something I do much later. Uh, right now just focused on doing exteriors and filling this out so I can get a feel for what we want to do. Uh, so yeah that that'll be all for today guys. Uh, like I said gonna get some more materials and I have a very fussy cat to attend to. He's he's hungry, so I need to go feed him. So, yep, that'll be it. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want me to work on, or if you have any ideas for this village or any other projects that I have going on. Um, also, just comment below. Let me know if, if you like the content I put out or if you want to see some different stuff, you know. I'm, I'm just doing this for fun, but, you know, obviously I want you guys to enjoy it, so I, I'm up for whatever. Let me know. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it, guys. We'll see you.